So in this digital age, I am super hesitant to advocate using paper for anything. I've really tried in my personal life to minimize the amount of paper and to digitize most everything that I can to eliminate the amount of stuff I have to keep up with and also to provide a way to see all the stuff I need to see anywhere I go, like on mobile devices. This video is not really gonna be about getting rid of paper. Instead, it's going to be about why the cruise ship newspaper might be your most important resource when you're on a cruise. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you love cruising, if you like cruising content, please consider subscribing and uh, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when the new stuff comes out. Now on to today's tip. That's right, folks. I did say that a cruise ship newspaper could be your most important resource. I have a couple fun times here from our cruise on the breeze just a couple weeks ago, but every cruise line has them. Uh, we've been on MSC, we've been on Royal Caribbean, we've been on Princess Cruise Lines, and everyone has some form of the daily cruise ship paper. So you might be saying, Tony, what's the big deal? It tells you what's going on on the cruise ship during that day. Uh, can't you get that on their app? Well, look, I would agree with you. If you wanna know what's going on on a cruise ship, most of the cruise lines have an app that will tell you that. But look, there's so much more. I didn't really realize it until I started reading these things in depth. There is information in these papers that I would wanna know every cruise that I've dug through websites, that I've looked through apps for, just to find. I've turned on the TV to find out information. So let me tell you beyond just the standard, what's going on at what time, let me tell you a few more pieces of information you can glean from the cruise ship newspaper. So first, we'll cover it briefly and I'll show you a screenshot of what it looks like when they lay out all the things that are going on on the cruise ship. It'll tell you where you can eat, what time, what time the entertainment is, what other onboard activities you can get into. Boom, it's all right here in your cruise ship newspaper. But what about other things? If you watch the channel long enough, you know that I'm somebody who has a thing for sunrises and sunsets. Not only is it fun to go out there with Jenny and experience that together, but it's also fun to film and bring it back to you, show you a cool time lapse. So for me, I always have that question in mind, what time is the sunrise and what time is the sunset? Most of the time, the way I get that information is I will turn on the TV in my room and I'll wait for a couple screens to pop by and it will show you sometimes what time the official sunrise and the sunset is. But forget the TV, it's right here in the newspaper and Carnival does a great job. They put it right at the top. You can see what time the sunrise is and what time the sunset is. And then that way you can get those cool time lapses that everybody loves, or at least I love, or you can sneak out with your honey and uh, actually spend some time looking at the sun as it arises or as it peaks beyond the horizon. So romantic. The other cool thing that this paper tells you, in case you forget, and I know it gets busy on a cruise and sometimes I get forgetful, is where the heck are you? Uh, right there at the top. See, this is the one from Amber Cove. Guess where we're at? We're in Amber Cove. It's super simple and it seems like there's no way you can lose track of the days and where you're at, but trust me, it's that cruise life. Some days you don't know what day it is and you can read this newspaper and it will tell you what day it is and where you're at. Another frequently asked question by myself when I am on a cruise is what do I have to wear to dinner? Is it formal night? Is it casual night? On our last cruise, we had two formal nights and there would be groups of us sitting around going, okay, I think that the first formal night is on the first sea day is the second formal night on the second sea day is this the night the cool thing about the cruise ship newspaper is again right there on the front not only does it tell you what day it is where you're at but it will also tell you what the dining attire is for the main dining room now you may think that using this cruise ship newspaper as a resource to only really benefits you while you're on the cruise ship well au contraire mon frere this thing is also something that you wanna put in your port bag and primarily for two reasons. The first is it tells you what time to get back on the ship. There's been a few stories of people that have just assumed what time they have to get back on the ship. They missed all the signs they, and they got back late. If you see this one from Amber Cove, it tells us what time we're supposed to be back to the cruise port. Now the interesting thing about Amber Cove is a lot of people did not get back on time and we were one of them because of the excursion that we were on. If you haven't seen that, please check out the vlogs from Amber Cove. It was a little stressful. We were on a cruise ship excursion. We didn't think we'd be left 
but there were a lot of people late that day. It's pretty interesting to see. So if you got to know what time you're going to be back on the cruise ship, have that cruise ship newspaper with you and it will tell you that. And then the other big piece of information that's there for your port day is emergency contact information. This is the information that you want to use if you have any trouble at port, if for some reason you miss the cruise ship, uh, the information's there, so it is super good to have the cruise ship newspaper with you. Now, in reality, you could digitize this. You could take a picture of it, uh, both sides. I've done that with all of our fun times on the Carnival Breeze, so if you want a good look at what a week on a cruise ship looks like by looking at the activities, uh, go over to the website, www.lalitaloca.com. You can see all of our Carnival Breeze uh, fun times, but so you could digitize it and I think that is fair, but the main point that I wanted to bring out is don't just rely on the app that they provide on the cruise ship. Uh, there's a lot of value in this uh, physical daily schedule that they print out, a lot of information. So I would either, you know, if you want to go digital, take a picture of it, use it complimentary with your uh, app. Of course, your app's not going to work when you're at port. So again, uh, utilize this resource. It is super helpful. And uh, I tell you, now that I've started reading it more, I'm engaging and doing more fun things on the cruise ship. I've got a better idea of certain information that I'm always looking for, and I find it to be a great resource. The question for the comments is this, do you use the daily cruise ship newspaper? Uh, what are the pieces of information that you find value in? And maybe what are some other things that you do to stay on top of your day or even to know what time you should be back at port? What are some of the techniques out there? Appreciate you stopping by. This is Tony with La Lita Loca. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media. Come join the Loca fam on Facebook at the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. And again, until the next time, I'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Thank you.